Hey gang, welcome to another episode of Resurrected Mighty TA. It's another beautiful day in Northeast Ohio, whether it's overcast as usual, cold as usual, and just overwhelmed blah of a day. But we're going to make the best of it because that's right, folks. Follow me on Facebook at the Mighty TA. You know the parts are in. Yes, these are the parts we've been waiting for. These fan water pump fan studs, I believe that's what they're called. So parts are in, and let's show you how to install them. All right, so these are the fan studs we were we ordered. They just go in here to put the fan on. The fan is actually still in the car, which is kind of where it needs to be right now, just out of the way. So we took the old ones out. If you can see, these are pretty well ro well roached. So let's go ahead, open the package, and put in the try to install these. These were open last night. I opened them. Let's see them. Cut. <laughs> what the fan opening up in the package? How much tape did that jackass put on his fucking head? <laughs> we were literally looking at them at, at the store and they opened. They spilled all over the counter. So, yeah, these are the parts you ordered. God damn, what the fucking tape did he use? I'm gonna buy some of this tape. <laughs> Jesus Christ, and god damn. As you can see, he's got two different types of threads on here. This one goes on the nut, simple and plain like this. And this one just threads into the fan pulley. And this is the stopper where the actual fan goes so it doesn't damage any threads. You just screw this on here all the way. And then it just takes over and it screws into the stud. Then you back the nut off. You back the nut off, put your fan on with your washers, and that's what we're going to do today. All right, we take the half inch wrench, put it on the nut like that, and it's just gonna thread right in there. But the trick is finding the damn hole. And, oh, we got a good sign right there. She's going right in. Is today actually gonna go the way it's supposed to? Inquiring minds wanna know. this pesky bolt on here that will not back off so we just put it in the vise and it comes right off you want to catch it in the fat part did we do any damage to the threads does not look like it there might be a little bit of a burr there where it got stuck but the threads are undamaged
use that. Put our return spring. This one right here is still sticking way out though. But I think we can put the fan on it. step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Washer first. We're just going to thumb tight them on there for now. Don't you love that sound, ladies and gentlemen? That's the sound of a nut falling all the way through the engine bay and onto the floor. Oh, was that a nut or a washer? Washer. Uh-huh. All right, well, we got the fan on the car, as you can see. Uh, we had a little trouble putting the nuts and bolts on. But uh, you know what? I'm feeling saucy. Let's uh, hook up the battery and give this whole thing a crank. Probably not going to start because you got no fuel in it, but let's crank it up a little bit. We cranked it up. We knew it wasn't going to start. I just wanted to make sure everything was nice and tight. So we're going to wrap this video up for today. I've got a lot of stuff to do today. i got a life outside of YouTube videos. So we're going to cut this video short. And remember to like, subscribe, tell your friends, hit that notification bell. And just because it's a classic car doesn't mean you got to crush them. Restore them, bring them back to life. So see you next week.